when we started the EFSF and ESM, I still remember how a handful of people worked day and night to get the institution going. It was a, a time where the continuity of the Euro was not guaranteed. I joined the ESM because uh, back then Portugal, my country, was in a crisis. So it was very exciting to be able to help my fellow Europeans in a time of need. I'm really proud that we were able to preserve monetary union by providing 300 billion euro in loans to five countries. So no country had to leave monetary union. We have a heart. What people may not know is that we, we genuinely care. We are a crisis mechanism and we know that we need to sometimes impose very difficult measures on our, on our countries on our, and, and its citizens. It was really hard for the early years to convince parliamentarians in our member states, the general public, that we were not wasting taxpayers' money, but helping some member states to overcome financial problems and to strengthen Europe. So the ESM at the beginning was a startup. It had all this startup-y feeling. We celebrated with pizza parties and we were a very close-knit group of people. And if you look at it now 10 years uh, later, uh, you see a mature organization with a, with a wonderful team. And that is something to be particularly proud of. It has been quite a journey these last 10 years. For the future, I'm really hoping that ESM Treaty will be ratified and we will be able to use our full capacity.